Hi friends, I'm Therese and welcome to the first week of Advent. In this video series, we will be walking through our Advent devotional called Maranatha, the story of our Savior, where a couple of us from the team will be sharing kind of our highlights and our favorite takeaways from the week. If you still have not grabbed your own copy, I encourage you to head over to our shop, blessedisshe.net slash shop, and we also have a digital download available as well. So I'll link it down below and let's get started. Each week in the devotional contains scripture readings, reflection questions, and things that we ask you to take to heart to ponder the coming of our Lord. Each week is broken up by a different attribute of Jesus Christ. The first week being the incarnation of Christ. The verse that we've chosen to focus on for this week is from Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. For me, with this week being the theme of the Messiah and the incarnation, really the last page is what stood out to me. It goes a little bit like this. Lord, you came to this earth as the incarnation, the word made flesh, the God-man, to save us from our sins and to open the gates of heaven for us, to be with you forever and ever. You are the Messiah, the one promised and the one waited for. I want to look for you in every moment, every struggle, every smile. I want to unite my yes with Mary's so that your spirit will flood me with your grace. What does it mean for Jesus to be the Messiah for you? That's a good one. Jesus coming as the Messiah means renewal and redemption. The incarnation and the coming of our Lord is just an incredible reminder to myself that Jesus came into a broken and a fallen world. He came into a world that needed saving. Our only chance of redemption and of renewal isn't through anything that we can do, but it's actually just by the coming of a little child who changed my life, changed the history of the world, and will change your life too. No matter the sins, the struggles that I have, no matter what's happened to me, what's happening in the world, whatever it is that's messy and broken, that Jesus wants to come into that. He's the Messiah that wants to renew that, wants to save us, and wants to make all of it new all over again. Thanks so much for walking with us through the first week. We are so excited to see what this is going to do in your own hearts and in your own lives. Share in the comments below what your favorite part about week one of Maranatha was. Stay tuned for next week where Beth will be on talking all about week two from Maranatha.